Unfortunately, we, he has a source in and around the club, which obviously feeds him, which is the most disappointing thing, I have to tell you, which we're all looking into to try and find out the culprit. And because at other clubs, it, it just simply doesn't happen. And I've been in it long enough, Keith, to understand when you're dealing with 25 men, day in and day out, highly competitive, highly on the edge, then of course you're going to get a row between them, a row between the staff. It happens. Happens up and down the country, week in and week out. Do you feel, or do you fear, sorry, that that, that source is, is someone from within then? Well, it has to be. It, it, unfortunately, it has to be. So that is the biggest disappointment to us all, that it unfortunately happens a bit too often. And um, and we'll try our utmost to... Um, to, to see who, who it is. You said that you, you want to draw a line under things now. Um, are you able to tell us, um, give us a little bit of insight as to what's happened with Matt and his apology? Well, the very following day, he trained, and he trained well like you'd expect him, Matt, and he come and apologised to me in front of the, and the staff and the players. And as I said, from that point on, it's over and done with and we move on. Because it happens on a regular basis, Keith, these things happen. But, um, so... As I said, from early last week, it's all forgotten about as far as I'm concerned. Unfortunately, it's been regurgitated in a newspaper.